How much money should you have saved for retirement? And how much of your income should you be saving each month so that you have enough when you retire? There's a common saying that's floated around financial circles, which you've probably heard. You should have twice your annual salary saved by 35. But really, this is a profoundly oversimplified bit of advice. Retirement planning isn't a one-size-fits-all framework. It's as unique as the individual lifestyles and retirement dreams of every person. However, there are benchmarks that can act as guiding lights. Financial experts often advocate following the 50-30-20 rule. What's that, you ask? It's a philosophy where 50% of your income goes to necessities, 30% to wants, and here's the kicker, 20% to savings. Now inside that 20%, a chunk should be navigating towards retirement. Let me break it down with some back of the napkin math. If you're pulling in say $1.50K a year in Portland, 20% is a neat $1.10K. If you start this game in your 20s, you're in a lovely little dance with compounding interest. The rule of 72 says that your investments will double every, oh, we don't need to get bogged down with the details. Let's say it speeds up the process a bit. Here's the thing though, this 20% is your starting block. As you age, you may need to adjust that percentage upward. Because life is like that weirdly unpredictable weather in Portland. It throws you curveballs. As for a target amount, there's this other rule, the 4% rule, which basically suggests that if you can live off 4% of your portfolio each year, you probably won't run out of money. So if you're chilling with a cool million at retirement, you're kicking back on $1.40K a year without having to work. Sort of like a perpetually rainy trust fund in PDX. And if you're behind, make no mistake, plenty are. It's about adjustments. Work a little longer, save a little more, spend a little less. Maybe skip that fourth artisan coffee of the week and pour it into your retirement fund instead. If we're tossing around numbers though, aiming for 10 to 15% of your income into retirement savings isn't crazy talk. It's responsible whispering. And start early, like yesterday early. Because time, that ethereal fickle force, is the real MVP when it comes to growing your retirement stash. So think about your future self, strolling down the streets of Portland, feeling good about life, retired maybe, your finances sorted because past you made some smart moves. Sweat the details now, so you don't have to later.